part 5 query builder in vb.net how to use query builder in vb.net that's what we will see today uh, in part 5 this is already i created a form whatever it may be i created the table this is my table here i am running the table that the data is are coming to. so what i will do is if i go the view the solution explorer i will go to the solution explorer you see the solution explorer here whatever it may be I'll see the solution explorer and then I will do the whatever I want. So I go to the solution explorer. Here I want to make smaller size. Make uh, this one solution explorer. The solution explorer here you can see part three data set XST. I already told this is called XML schema data. This is my data set. I'll double click this case. If you double click this way, it will appear. You see, student table adopter is coming. This is a name of this table is student. That's why it is coming as student table adopter. If you click this, right click this, right click, right click this mouse. What will coming is this will right click or here you right click wherever add with the table adopter. I want to add the table adopter. So which one part three is my what actually this is binding navigator. So this connection string I am creating. What I want to write in using SQL statement next. Then I am writing the query, the query builder. Okay. The query builder, I can add my table name. What table name I want to add? Student table name. What I do is here I will close it. Student ID, student name, internal mark, final mark. Automatically select statements come. Suppose I want to add one more column called total. So the total is internal plus final add. I will give total, double quote total. Like this. This is a new column. Now I execute the column. You can see total is coming. So if it is name, we can do like this. A new column we can arrange. This is called the execute query builder. This way also we can do your executing query builder here. Yeah. So we can use the table adopter. Suppose I want to rename. Okay, I'll give okay here. After giving okay, I'll go to what? I'll go to the next one. Here it will come. Then I'll go to the next one. Then I'll finish. Now this is coming student one. Suppose I want to change this adopter, whatever it may be. I want the data connection. If you go, you can see this one. I'll go to the data connection, the uh, form one. Then suppose first we will see here. Suppose I want to change the name. I can change the name here. Instead of student one, I say my query one. Query one like this. I can here also it will see what is so if I give the form design what I will do is the form design whatever I do is I will go and I will see my data connections other windows go to data source and I will see that query one already this is available query one whatever I given the information is available here so suppose I want to run I can run it so this way I can use it suppose I will create another view this query only I want to run how I do I will go in here what I'll do is go to the project, add new window, the form window, form 2. Now you see form 2. Form 2, what I'm doing is I am putting this query. So I'll create this query. I'll put this query. So now what is coming? The form 2, whatever query I created, it will work. See here? Final mark, total mark, everything is coming. The query I, I makes the appear in where actually? In form 2. The form 2 design. I'll go to the project. What I'll do is in the runtime I want to go the appearance. You know, whatever it may be, I'll show whatever it may be my properties. Or project properties. Yeah, project properties. Go the properties. Instead of form one, what I want to run form two. Okay, I'll run. It. See, whatever I create total the new query this way also. So this is a purpose of query builder. So how you do? Go to the here XST, right click it, double click it, whatever it may be, you click the double click, it will come like this. Add the new adopter, if you want to change, change the name. Go to the SQL and check what is the available. Write the query, very simple. This is a way we can execute the query. Yeah.